In 2026, while the world was still trying to understand the limits of innovation, Tesla quietly appeared with a move no one saw coming. In just 82 days, that's right, less than three months, the company built an entire production line from scratch, dedicated exclusively to the Model 2 Senior Edition. It wasn't an adaptation, nor an improvised expansion. It was something new, built with almost surgical precision, directly targeting an audience often forgotten by the automotive industry, drivers over 50. And what's most surprising isn't the record time. It's the level of detail considered from the beginning to meet the needs of this audience with comfort, practicality, and simplicity. Just to give you an idea of what this represents, most automakers take six to nine months just to prepare a production line, pre-existing for a new model. And Tesla not only skipped steps, but reinvented the game. The secret? No improvisation, no makeshift solutions. The construction of this line began with each piece of the puzzle mapped out, from the synchronized arrival of equipment to the installation of specific microstations for tasks such as casting, battery assembly, and the insertion of the ergonomic interior. It's as if they had assembled a Swiss watch, only the size of an industrial warehouse. Anyone who follows Tesla knows the company loves to challenge industry standards, but this new line went beyond audacity. It showed that it's possible to accelerate without compromising quality. And we're not talking about a line for luxury cars or expensive prototypes, but rather an affordable compact car with an estimated price below $30,000. This changes everything, because until now, no one had managed to make this type of production viable without sacrificing margins or functionality. With the Model 2 Senior Edition, Elon Musk seems to have told the market, it is possible to produce a good, beautiful, inexpensive car adapted for those who need it most. The adaptation for older drivers wasn't just a superficial marketing ploy. The line's design was conceived with this audience in mind from the start, including everything from assembly areas for lighter doors to fine-tuning the steering wheel and dashboard design. Ergonomics became central, and this is reflected not only in the final product but also in every workstation within the factory. This choice breaks the industry pattern which generally tries to force a generic model down the throats of all audiences. Tesla took the opposite approach. It started from necessity to shape production. Another point that left experts speechless was the ability to integrate suppliers and logistics. The company mapped the flow of materials so efficiently that traditional delays practically disappeared. Parts arrived, were installed, and tested in sync with the assembly cycles. There was none of that old scene of equipment stopped waiting for calibration or technicians rushing to fix faults. The schedule was met like a well-rehearsed movie script, and that, in the real world of the automotive industry, is almost science fiction. Even those who aren't fans of the brand recognize that this achievement is historic. In a time when major automakers are struggling to convert old factories into EV production lines, Tesla has essentially teleported an entire operation to the present. And, as if that weren't enough, it did so with an eye on a growing audience. More experienced drivers who seek simplicity, durability, and comfort. They want a car that works, without frills, that doesn't break down easily, and that doesn't tire them out with small daily tasks. Tesla seems to have understood this with rare clarity. The idea that Tesla simply accelerated production would be far too simplistic. What's truly impressive is how it reinvented the way a factory thinks, organizes itself, and executes. The architecture of the Model 2 Senior Edition assembly line doesn't follow the old pattern of endless conveyor belts, where everything depends on the rhythm of a single system. Instead, Elon Musk and his team created a modular format like five mini factories working in sync, but with enough autonomy to continue operating even when one needs to stop for adjustments. It's as if the system has its own intelligence, preventing the domino effect of delays. And if you're picturing a cute line full of friendly robots, forget it. This thing is brutal, heavy, and would make any engineer proud. 
Two monstrous 6,500-ton Giga presses are the heart of this system. These machines are responsible for fusing into a single piece what previously required up to 270 different parts, including welds and screws. The result is not just speed, but absolute precision and a more resistant, lighter structural body with fewer points of failure. It seems like industrial magic, but it's just applied engineering with a vision for the future. And it didn't stop there. Each module on this line was designed to cut movement, reduce assembly time, and minimize employee fatigue. The layout was planned so that parts don't have to travel within the factory, something common in conventional factories. With less distance traveled by components, production time plummets. This thinking, reducing movement to the essentials, is something seen more in aerospace laboratories than in assembly lines for popular cars. Another detail that puts a smile on any engineer's face is the buffer and error isolation system. Each module has its own lungs, allowing it to continue functioning even if another section of the line malfunctions. In other words, if the foundry sector stops for recalibration, the interior assembly line continues at full speed. This drastically reduces downtime and allows the line to achieve an absurd rate from 92,000 to 110,000 units per year, with a theoretical ceiling of up to 128,000 when everything is at maximum capacity. That's more than many traditional automakers achieve in entire factories. This modularity also offers another advantage, agility in updates. If tomorrow an improvement arises in the door assembly system, for example, Tesla can replace only that section of the line without halting the rest. It's like updating an app in parts without having to turn off your cell phone. Few companies have the courage or the technical capacity to build something so dynamic. And all of this was done targeting an audience that values reliability, not extravagance. This contrast between technological sophistication and focus on the basics is what makes it all the more intriguing. Anyone who looks at the satellite images and logistics documents can see the scale of the transformation. We're not talking about a temporary adaptation. Tesla changed the factory's framework so that everything would work with this new modular logic. And for a car that aims to cost less than $30,000, this is simply unprecedented. Most competitors in this range work with adapted, improvised, and inefficient production lines. Here, we have a project built from scratch tailor-made for the model, with every decision made as if every second and every penny mattered. And, in fact, they do. Now, imagine what happens when a modular and intelligent production line meets an interior design tailored for comfort. It's as if two worlds that rarely intersect finally meet, cutting-edge technology and human care. The interior of the Model 2 Senior Edition was meticulously designed to make the driving experience simpler, more intuitive, and above all, less tiring for those over 50. And this isn't about luxury. It's about real usability, about choices that respect the body and pace of the person behind the wheel. It all starts with the cabin, which is assembled separately as an independent module and then integrated into the car body all at once in a process reminiscent of fuselage assembly in the aerospace industry. This not only reduces alignment errors, but also allows the cabin to be built with its own logic, focused 100% on comfort. We're talking about doors with low effort hinges, seats with wider rails for easier adjustment, and a dashboard with easy reach and readability. It's the kind of detail that seems small, but changes everything in practice. This modular approach also helped to include a steering wheel with reduced resistance, something that many people with joint pain or less arm strength will appreciate. The steering wheel has a lighter response, but without losing precision. It's as if the car understands that the driver wants fluidity, not struggle. And the same goes for the pedals, adjusted with a sensitivity that avoids abrupt accelerations and harsh braking. Everything there conveys a feeling of smoothness, as if the car were breathing at the same rhythm as the driver. 
One detail that stands out is the new type of glove compartment latch, which requires less force and uses a magnetically assisted system. It's the kind of thing nobody asks for until they try it. The same logic was applied to the interior door handles, which now work with a light touch and a shorter travel, reducing the effort required to open or close them. It may seem like overkill, but for those who experience hand pain or have reduced mobility, these small solutions make all the difference in daily life. The complete interior assembly is set up just 18 meters from the main assembly line. This allows the robots to install it quickly, precisely, and without misalignment. Furthermore, since everything is assembled together, there's no need for later adjustments, reducing final assembly time, and ensuring that every car delivered has the same quality standard. Uniformity is crucial when the focus is on delivering comfort, not just aesthetics. Another brilliant idea is that the seats were designed with a more natural angle of inclination, which reduces lumbar pressure. Furthermore, the fabrics are hypoallergenic, easy to clean, and have seams positioned to avoid friction in sensitive areas of the body. These decisions didn't come from some random creative brainstorm, but from a series of ergonomic tests conducted with groups of senior drivers. In other words, the design stemmed from reality, not aesthetics. If the interior of the Model 2 Senior Edition was designed to smooth out every driver movement, what happens under the floor is what truly ensures that this smooth experience lasts for years, without surprises, without sudden drops in performance. And that's where the most technical and, at the same time, most strategic part comes in, the batteries. Tesla didn't want a single formula. It preferred to design three different paths for different audiences, all within the same car. A type of flexibility rarely seen in compact models, even more so in an EV under $30,000. The backbone of the Senior Edition is the well-known LFP battery, iron phosphate, but in a re-engineered version with between 42 and 46 kilohedro. And while this may not impress those who only look at raw range, the real advantage lies in its durability. It can last for more than 6,000 complete cycles before starting to lose performance. In other words, a typical driver who travels around 15,000 kilon per year can use this battery for more than 15 years without noticing a significant drop in performance. For those who value predictability and don't want the headache of battery replacement, this is a safe bet. But Tesla didn't stop there. It looked at the climate, the user profile, and brought to the table an alternative that promises to solve an old problem, the cold. Sodium batteries, although still relatively new to the market, are much more stable in sub-zero temperatures, and initial data indicates that they deliver between 240 and 255 kilohertz of range with 38 to 40 kilobolt packs. This may seem less than LFP batteries, but winter performance is much more consistent. Furthermore, these batteries cost up to 28% less to produce, since they use neither lithium nor nickel. This alternative could be a game changer for seniors living in cold regions, where autonomy plummets in winter. With sodium-based batteries, drivers no longer need to leave home hoping the car has enough charge after a night at 15 degrees cease. And the savings in production also translate into a cheaper final model. This is invaluable for those living on a fixed pension or who want a practical second car for everyday use. The range may be slightly shorter, but the reliability of its use in any climate is worth more than a marketing statistic. The third option, however, is where Tesla shows it's still thinking five years ahead. Even without being ready for mass production, the brand has begun testing aluminum ion modules used as a type of urban buffer. These small 18 to 22 kilobiwatt packs are used for ultra-fast charging. In less than two minutes, it's possible to recover 40 to 50 kilometers of range. Imagine the scenario. The driver stops to get bread or go to the pharmacy. And in that short time, the car is already full enough to return home safely. These modules won't replace the main battery, at least not for now, 
but they function as a perfect complementary system for drivers who make short urban trips. The technology is still in the pilot phase with an energy density of around $110 to $120 one colors, lower than other options, but with an estimated lifespan of 10,000 cycles. This means that while conventional EVs are replacing batteries, the Model 2 Senior Edition with aluminum ion buffer will still be running smoothly. Even more interesting is how Tesla intends to combine these technologies. The launch version should only come with LFP to ensure volume and predictability. Versions with sodium and aluminum batteries should appear in specific trims, perhaps even with new names or customized packages, focusing on well-defined usage profiles. This type of segmentation by battery chemical profile is practically unprecedented in entry-level cars and shows that Tesla's focus is not just on selling a cheap EV, but on offering the right EV for each lifestyle. If there's one thing Tesla has learned over the years, it's how to transform an industrial schedule into a kind of military strategy game. Every step, every equipment delivery, every software adjustment within the factory has a precise, almost choreographed timing. And it's based on these past patterns that analysts have been able to draw up a realistic timeline for the launch of the Model 2 Senior Edition. It's no longer a question of, will it happen? But rather of, when he will start appearing on the streets exactly as expected. And all signs point to a period between August and November 2026. The starting point for this projection came from the production line itself. Evidence shows that it entered calibration mode at the end of the third quarter of 2025. And if Tesla follows the same pace it used in the launches of the Model Y in Berlin, the Model 3 in Fremont, or even the controversial Cybertruck, then we are talking about an average interval of 12 to 14 months between the start of calibration and the first deliveries. This pattern has been repeated so many times that it has almost become a signature of the company. But the sharpest details come from observing the casting line. Tesla has activated only one of the two gigapresses installed, leaving the second in cold mode, that is, ready for use, but still without molten metal alloy circulating. In previous projects, this type of movement always preceded the appearance of the so-called test mules, the camouflaged prototypes that run on the streets during the testing phase. And if the logic holds true, this should happen between April and May 2026. These prototypes usually appear discreetly, almost as if they don't want to be seen. But behind the scenes, they are fundamental. They serve to evaluate everything from real-world road behavior to the performance of new components, such as ergonomic interiors and alternative batteries. And most importantly, they initiate the homologation process with regulatory bodies, which generally takes between 8 and 12 weeks. All of this fits perfectly into a commercial delivery window at the end of the year. Another important point in this equation is the status of battery supply. The LFP battery version is already in the ramp readiness phase, meaning it's ready for mass production. Sodium batteries are in an intermediate stage, with suppliers scheduling deliveries for mid-2026. And aluminum ion modules are in the sampling phase, suggesting that it will still take a few months for them to be officially incorporated. What does this indicate? That Tesla should indeed start with a single chemistry and scale up as each technology matures. This type of gradual launch, or soft launch, has become standard for Tesla. It was the case with the Model Y, the Semi, and more recently, the Cybertruck itself. The idea is simple, 